Chairman Dawson, New Edge Wealth is with us right here. It's good to see you. Um, before we get to that, obviously, CPI, we got the crypto crash fallout. How are you thinking about all of this? Well, I think we start with crypto because this is really the capturing of the liquidity issues that we still have in this market. Crypto is a liquidity trade. So as we see money supply growth continue to slow, it's likely that these assets will continue to struggle. What that means for traditional assets is that we keep having these rallies, relief rallies and multiples. Those are driven by liquidity as well. So this is all a sign that we're not out of the woods in this bear market and that we really haven't seen that true capitulative flush that we need to get this to be over. Maybe this is the thing that sparks that. Stocks can't bottom until Bitcoin bottoms. Is that fair to say or is that too correlated? I think that that could possibly be the case. I think stocks can't bottom until the retail investor gives up because that's what we see at the end of every major bear market. How do we know they haven't? Well, because if we look at stock allocations in the AAII survey, they're down from 70 percent, but they're still at 65. Back in 0809, they got lower than 40 percent. And if we see another retail favorite is ARC. ARC has had inflows this year. They had inflows until about two months ago. This is not signs of people absolutely giving up. Another new low today, by the way. Exactly. Um, for that. But, you know, you heard Josh, I think, suggest mm -hmm. that the dollar is the whole ball game. in his words. You agree? I think it's very critical because as we saw the dollar correct. Of course, that was really helpful for seeing the October rally. But we're hitting that support at 109. If we rally up from there, I think that the next level of the market will be down lower, meaning we retest those October lows. Mm -hmm. But if the dollar continues to break down, maybe that's the breather we can for us to get to that 200 day. What's really at stake tomorrow morning? CPI? Everything? It is so very important because look at the Treasury auction today. We had a 10 year Treasury auction. It was awful, absolutely abysmal. Nobody wanted to step into duration. Clearly, there is worry that the CPI print could come in hot, which could drive the market lower. Of course, if it's a little bit later, that could provide more relief. But I think the big risk is that it comes in hot. I mean, there are some trading desks that are suggesting if it comes in really hot, you could have a really negative event in the market tomorrow. It could be true. I mean, it, obviously, we saw the re big rally into October. And so we did see a lot of the CTAs, the, the hedge funds positioning flip to being much more bullish. Mm -hmm. So we don't have that very short, very bearish positioning that could kind of absorb a negative shock like we would have had at the beginning of October when people were far more bearish positioned. All right. I appreciate your patience through our breaking news. Cameron <laughs> Dawson uh, here with us once again in overtime. We'll see you again soon.